what I'd like to show today is a quick video of how we make a zone from start to finish. Our team is made up of four artists. We work very closely with the 10 exterior level designers and one intern. All together, there's about 15 of us that make all of the zones. Now the best part of starting a zone is just figuring out what we want to do. This is sort of a blue sky meeting where we just hash out what we want to do, where just about anything goes. And we talk about anything we want to do, try to get everyone excited and just, you know, throw stuff against the wall, see what sticks and, and you know, get going on a zone. It's a very passionate time. It's also the most fun. We'll just try to go around, show people ideas and just get everybody on board and everybody in agreement. That's right, Ed. Of course, not everybody agrees all the time. So once we decide what we want to do, we start to do illustrator maps, we'll start to do basic layouts in our editor, just so we could get a feel for the scale, if it looks right from a gamer's perspective, and just try to get an idea for the kind of spaces we're going to have to deal with. We'll start to gather resource material and other art, but the next biggest thing that happens is going to be our concepts. That's going to give us a roadmap for the zone. It's going to give us our colors, our textures, what our trees, rocks, and things are going to look like. So once we have a good idea from our concepts, we can start building all of these little items, trees and rocks and what have you, and our exterior level designers will start building the zone. It's important to remember that every zone we've ever done in WoW has been done by hand. Everything has been placed by hand, every tile set is painted. And almost all of the items in the zone were created for that zone, all based on the color concept. And there's the final version, in-game. Thank you. Next thing I'd like to talk about some of the tech improvements that we've done and some of the reasons why WoW looks so much better now than it did when we first shipped. It's important to realize all of the little items and all the things it takes to make the world look natural. Kind of put them together. One of the biggest things is what we call detailed doodads. And they're like little grasses and things we can put in the ground. Well, currently, we can draw many more detailed doodads now than we ever could. You can also see twice as far now than you ever could when we first shipped the game. We even have environment textures we can paint right onto the ground that reflect the sky. What you're seeing here is one of my favorite newer features. This is called Vertex Shading. This lets us tint and color the textures in a way that was never possible with tile sets alone. There's some before and afters. Beautiful. But probably one of our biggest improvements you saw this morning is our water. This is our old water. It looks okay, but it never quite fit the painterly look of wow. This is our new water. Thank you. As you can see, it washes up on shore, it distorts objects below the surface, it even reflects the sky. And not only is this a great improvement for the expansion, but you're going to see this water everywhere. As you can see, the water really affects how a zone looks. And I feel this is a, a, a final completion for our painterly look of WoW. I feel like the game's almost, this is finished. Thank you. 